one great opportunity. It is uh, knowledge. I love Fala. I'm here since 2007. And I love this place, I love the school, the teachers, and my friends. Um, Fala has impacted my life in many different ways. My mom never spoke English, so Fala has helped me a lot to help her speak English. Um, it also helped me because I also know, know sign language, so I've been working with many deaf people, and due to that, Fala has helped me have more patience with them to explain things and to work with them. Um, I think I've created a bond with my students. They're all very nice, they're all my friends. They tell me a lot of things and they can really trust me. It has helped me as a person to respect my teachers, to respect my peers when someone doesn't understand something because I noticed that it's actually normal that all of us have, have doubts. I've always liked community services and teaching. And FALA is all about those things together. And I've lo I loved it since the first day. At first I was really, really nervous. But then it turned out to be one of the best experiences ever. FALA has been a life-changing experience for me since my 10th grade year, which is when I started as an observer in the program. It was wonderful for me as a Brazilian to have the opportunity of teaching English, which is my favorite language, to other people of my country who were in need of this teaching. So for me, it was a personal re realization since day one. When I was in eighth grade, I saw the video of Fala and I was, I cried a lot because I thought it was beautiful. I decided I wanted to make, I wanted to be part of making a difference in someone else's life. Uh, I got involved in Fala uh, through a friend and it's a wonderful program. I mean, uh, the work we do, it's on Saturdays uh, in the morning, it's really hard to wake up. But once you're here at school, like you forget all about waking up at 8 and all the lethargy from the week and you just, I don't know, you forget about all that and all you, all you want to do is teach and you meet so many incredible people here. It's not even our group of teachers but all of the students, they they're not only your students, they actually become your friends, which is something very different from a school, uh, the school environment that we have here, where we have a, we build a teacher-student relationship, but during follow you can have both, a student-teacher relationship and a friend-to-friend -friend relationship. And it's, I got really impressed when I joined the program because there aren't words to describe the feeling you get when you teach a good class and you see that everyone understands and you feel like you've done a good job. Uh, I'm Paolo and uh, I joined FALA simply because I thought it was interesting to use my, well, the knowledge that I had of English to teach others. Um, my parents usually thought that I was very good at teaching anyway, so that's why I joined. I thought well, I could help out and still have fun because I enjoyed teaching. Um, and Fala really changed my perspective on how I view teachers, really, because um, I always thought, oh, teaching is a, an easy job, but <laughs> you don't really understand how hard teaching is once you get to teach. Um, especially when the students don't really understand, that's, I think, the hardest part. But it's always nice to, like, in class, if the students don't understand, for some reason I get excited because I can explain again and I like explaining stuff. Since the program is on Saturdays I created, then my family had to commit itself for being available Saturday mornings to take me to the school and back home. But the fact that I was doing something not only for me or for academic purposes, but 
for a bigger purpose, which is to help the Brazilian community who needs help, or at least a small part of this community, was already reason enough for my entire family to support me and to encourage me sometimes during any moments of frustration I might have had with uh, continuing in the program and continuing improving my teaching skills and mainly became becoming a better human being. Hi, my name is Luana. I am here since 2007 and I love being here because I improve my English in every class and I had the opportunities to uh, publish things in the magazine of the school and meeting of new friends and it's amazing. I love to be here. My name is Bruno. I'm here in Fala since August 2011 and Fala is helping me uh, to improve my English, to use in my job because I studied international relations so uh, my, my job re uh, request requires uh, this so I have to improve my English and that's why I'm here in Fala to uh, improve my conversation skills but it was an amazing experience to know people from other countries and, and other experience, life, etc. And I, I like too much Fala, that's why I'm here. If you get another, another idiom, you can get the uh, better opportunities to, to grow in your life. This program is very, very important. The idea that my son uh, is able to give something like this to support them or to help them is very important to his study in this school to complement and to give him more opportunities to be better in the life. So I think it's a, it's a very good experience for him to develop himself as a man and to, to have clearly the, 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 the good idea or the opportunity to give, to help other people. Hi, my name is Maria de la Paz. I have two daughters um, in the FALA program. Uh, FALA to my family uh, means a uh, big deal. Without this program, these children wouldn't learn English. And without this program, our children wouldn't have the opportunity to teach others and to become what they become after a while. Children who get into the FALA program, they don't want to get out. The experience that they live, the, the way they learn from, from it, uh, it sticks with them throughout their whole life. So um, we are very happy that this school has this program. Otherwise, um, our children wouldn't have this wonderful experience. I was asked to talk to you about my daughter, Tessa Peixoto's commitment to FALA. She has grown, obviously yearly, on how to be a teacher and how to be a partner in the journey of these students of hers through the course of the four years. It's been a selfless commitment, but it's been so overwhelmingly passionate to her about that difference and what it means to her and not wanting to miss out on any Saturday as a family wanting to go maybe to the beach and miss that Saturday and her commitment to no I can't do this they depend on me. Um, it's made a huge impact on who she is and what she'll take away for life in terms of commitment, compassion, dedication, uh, integrity, responsibility. I can't imagine Tessa not having had Fala as part of her life. It's been a part of our life as a family because it involves our commitment to being here for her on her Saturdays and her coming home and sharing those experiences at a dinner table or sharing those experiences through her college uh, essays. So it's been a commitment, it's been a growth for all of us as a family. It's just not about Tessa, it's just not about the student and it's also about her role in the whole program with her other colleagues that are teachers. I think it's amazing. I think she's become an incredible young lady. She's become a better person.
person because of her involvement in Fala, because of the lives that she's touched and the lives that have touched her. Most people complain about having to wake up early and most new students are like, oh, I don't want to go to school on a Saturday. But you get used to it. And it's so worth it when you get here and you see the students and you start talking and they're always so engaged. And I think it's one of the best decisions I've ever made is to join Fala. Fala, uh, for me, in two words, it's an amazing experience. <laughs> it's a unique opportunity. Perfect. It's good, it's good.